Hello everyone, I am Priyanka Gore. Welcome back to my channel Learning with Pace. In this video, we are going to discuss about the life of George Crabbe and his works as well. He was born in the year of 1754 and died in the year of 1832. He was an English poet and a surgeon and a clergyman as well. Before establishing himself as a writer, he was practicing as a surgeon. And he had some influential friends in his life, very famous friends he had. And with the help of those friends, uh, he established himself as a writer. Initially, his work did not get too much popularity, but later on, it got popularity with subsequent revisions. So, he did many a time, frequently revisions of his work and that's how uh, his work got refinement and after that, he got popularity as well. George Crabbe got so much assistance from the famous literary figures and few of them were his patrons. Jessica Edmund Burke, Samuel Johnson, William Wordsworth and many others as well. Crabbe is also called the last of the Augustan poets. So there is a reason to call him the last of the Augustan poets because he used heroic couplet with great skills and in the same way he used couplet the way John Dryden, Alexander Pope and Samuel Johnson used in their work. In 1770s, Crabbe began his career as doctor's apprentice, later becoming a surgeon. So, Crabbe never wanted to become a surgeon. Why? Because he wanted to establish himself as a writer. And might be this is the reason he didn't do very well in this particular profession which is called surgeon. In 1780, he travelled to London to make his living as a poet. He wanted to establish himself as a poet. That's why he travelled to London in 1780. But in London, he found, uh, you know, financial difficulty. He faced financial difficulty and you need money to publish your work. And due to financial difficulties, he was unable to publish his work. That's why he wrote a letter to Edmund Burke for an assistance and Edmund Burke was impressed by the works written by Crabbe because he was impressed uh, by those poems that was written by Crabbe and promised him to help uh, in any way he could. So Edmund Burke and Crabbe they both became close friend and Edmund Burke ne Crabbe ki bohati zyada help ki in his literary career. Burke introduced Crabbe to literary and artistic society of London so that it would be easy for Crabbe to establish himself as a writer. Burke introduced Crabbe to famous literary figures such as Sir Joshua Reynolds and Samuel Johnson and famous other famous literary figures. Burke read the work the village. It was written by George Crabbe and before it got published, Burke made minor changes. Johnson's friend and biographer whose name was James Boswell, he also read the work The Village written by George Crabbe and he also praised this work The Village. So The Village, it was uh, praised by Samuel Johnson, it was praised by Burke, it was praised by Samuel Johnson's biographer whose name was James Boswell. The village received the following praise from Samuel Johnson. Samuel Johnson gave some beautiful remark about this work, The Village, and he wrote a letter to his friend Sir Joshua Reynolds and gave some beautiful remark regarding this work. So, Samuel Johnson said, I have sent you back Mr. Crabbe's poem, which I read with great delight. It is original, vigorous and elegant. This is what uh, Samuel Johnson uh, mentioned about the village while he was writing a letter to Sir Joshua Reynolds. So, Samuel Johnson ne likha ki maine Mr. क्रैब की जो जॉर्ज क्रैब है उनकी पोयम आपको बेजी है ये बहुत ही अच्छी है इसको मैंने बहुत ही प्लेजर के साथ पढ़ा एंड इट इज वेरी ओरिजिनल एंड एलिगेंट वर्क सो दीज आर द वर्ड्स रिटन बाय सैमुअल जॉनसन वाइल प्रेजिंग द विलेज रिटन बाय जॉर्ज क्रैब 
सो दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन यू शुड नो बिकॉज इट कैन बी आस्ड डायरेक्टली और इन डायरेक्टली इन नेट एग्जाम और इन एनी अदर एग्जाम वेर एवर यू आर टारगेटिंग इंग्लिश लिटरेचर लेटर ऑन क्रैब स्टार्टेड राइटिंग अ पोएम द लाइब्रेरी विच वॉज अनफिनिश्ड एंड ही सेंट फ्यू पीसेज ऑफ दिस पोएम टू एडमंड बर्ग सो दैट एडमंड बर्ग कुड हेल्प क्रैब टू कंप्लीट दिस वर्क एडमंड बर्ग एंड हिज फैमिली बोथ हेल्प्ड क्रैब टू एनलार्ज हिज नॉलेज एक्सपेंड हिज आइडियाज एंड इंट्रोड्यूस्ड हिम विद मैनी न्यू लिटरेरी फिगर्स एंड वैल्यूएबल फ्रेंड्स ऑफ द टाइम पीरियड सच एज चार्ल्स जेम्स फॉक्स डॉक्टर सैम्यूअल जॉनसन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एडमंड बर्क जॉर्ज क्रैब कुड फिनिश हिज पोएम्स एंड रिवाइज अदर पोएम्स एज वेल विद द हेल्प ऑफ बर्क्स क्रिटिसिजम सो वी कैन से दैट बर्क हेल्प हिम सो वी कैन से दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एडमंड बर्क जॉर्ज क्रैब कुड पब्लिश हिज वर्क जॉर्ज क्रैब कुड फिनिश हिज वर्क and got the popularity as well not among the famous literary writers but as well as among the literary society of london and with the help of edmund burke he could publish this poem the library that published anonymously in june 1781 by such publisher who had previously refused to publish the work written by george crab and this work the library it got a uh, modest praise from critics uh, and slight public appreciation so it was like a moderate poem later on george crab developed his friendship with a uh, great other literary figures of the time period such as sir walter scott and william wordsworth and other fellow lake poets as well and they these were the friends uh, you know these lake poets they these were the friends who always frequently visited to crab's house as his guests as i told you that crab did frequent revisions so in the fourth edition of his work in 1809 he sent a copy of his poems to walter scott and walter scott acknowledged all the works written by and sent by crab and he replied them in a very friendly way there is modern critic whose name was frank whitehead the name you should remember what he wrote about crab he said uh, crab's work are very good very important indeed no doubt but the work of this poet is seriously still अंडर वैल्यूड तो कहने का मतलब है फ्रेंक वाइट हैड कहना चाहते थे जो क्रैब के वर्क है वो अच्छे हैं इम्पोर्टेंट हैं बट इसको अंडर वैल्यू किया जाता है इसको उतनी वैल्यू नहीं मिली जितनी मिलनी चाहिए थी क्रैब हैज़ रिटर्न मैनी अदर वर्क एज वेल लाइक द विलेज पोएम्स द बोरो टेल्स टेल्स ऑफ द हॉल द कैंडिडेट बट दिस वर्क द कैंडिडेट दिस पोएम इट वॉज बैडली रिसीव बाई क्रिटिक्स Uh, like it did not get the it did not get good popularity that time period in 1783 crab demonstrated his full power as a poet by publishing the work the village the village was written in a part as a protest against the work written by oliver goldsmith so oliver goldsmith has written a work which is the idyllic and uh, in contrast or in opposition to this George Crab wrote the village the village was a work that somehow showed and portrayed the misery and degeneration of rural poverty and crab made a very good use by showing the countryside and its gloominess its bleak nature and uh, you know the the reality of countryside in his work but after this work the village you know it got popularity too much popularity but after this work he published the newspaper and this work the newspaper it was badly received by people so uh, it was such unsuccessful work that crab could not publish any poetry uh, in the next 22 years but in meantime he wrote some work and he contributed in john nicolas work as well the history and antiquities of the country of leicester and other works as well on the other hand george crab wrote some treatises on botany 
uh, and three novels which later on he burned them all and it did not survive in 1807 george crab began to publish his poetry again and then he reprinted his poems with new work that time he published a poem which was the parish register and it was a poem more than 2000 lines based on the harsh realities of life and the life cycle such as birth death and marriages and he also depicted the rural community as well the life of the rural community other works includes such as the boro tales in verse tales in the hole crab also worked as clergyman in leicestershire and he was long time opium user he used to take drugs byron and other romantic poets also admired his poetry and jane austen also admired crab and his works as well benjamin britten based his opera which was the peter grimes so it was based on a character a character from the boro and the work written by george crab george crab died in the year 1832 lord byron uh admired crab by giving this remark nature's sternest painter yet the best so ye question aa sakta hai that lord byron called george crab by uh, which name that he called him that nature's sternest painter sternest means uh, that means serious so nature's sternest painter yet the best for whom he is saying lord byron is saying this for george crab That's it, guys, for uh, today. Itna hi enough hai because George Crabbe is such a minor writer, and we have already done uh, the work and his biography in detail. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can follow me on Instagram and Telegram as well. Or कोई भी अगर आपको specific video चाहिए तो आप मुझे comment section में बता सकते हैं. They said Priyanka Gore. I wish you all the best. Keep learning. Thank you so much.